crystal with pineapple papers and welcome back to day 19 of 30 days of sketches with Christy from Christy's beautiful life. So we have this super fun sketch from the hip kit club. And funny thing is I didn't even realize that it was turned on its side. So, um, I'm doing the sketch with it turned on its side because that's how I thought it was supposed to be, but it's not. And then I thought, well, it'll be super fun to use my Hip Kip Club kit from September. And there's this beautiful paper in here um, that has half and half already. So I just trimmed it right down and I am going to adhere it to both sides of the paper. And then you can see in the sketch, there's definitely some mixed media splatters. And I am going to do that as well. I am just going to do um, Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold, though. So I am going to scatter that all over the place. Um, I think in the sketch, it's primarily very horizontal, which I guess technically if the sketch were the right way, it would be vertical. Um, but the way I'm looking at it, it's horizontal, but I just kind of go everywhere. And then I set it over to the side to dry. And then I can start working on my photo. So my photo is my daughter and I, um, we were up camping and this is one of the, I don't know what you call it. It's not like a cliff, but it's like an overlook. Um, and I just trimmed it down a little bit because I was like, I don't really need to see that much sky. So, um, I just trim off a little bit of the sky and make it a little smaller. So it's probably a four by five maybe now. And so you can kind of see in the sketch, there's definitely like some layers behind the photo. So I'm going to use this frame. I think it's from Good Vibes and some tissue paper. So those are going to be the things that back my photo. Now I do decide to cut the frame in half so I can use it on the top and on the bottom because I really do like how that looks. And then I just kind of start playing with what um, I am going to embellish. So I was trying to figure out how I was going to attach the frame. Ultimately, I realized I just have to glue the frame to the background paper. I can't attach it to um, my photo. So my I'm going to attach that to the paper and then put my photo on top. But right now I'm just going to play with basically some florals. So I go through the die cut pack and I am going to pull out Quite a few of the florals as well as this piece that says let's get cozy because um, we're kind of cozying up to take this little selfie um, and I like how that looks I do know that I'm going to add this little journaling block um, that is just basically going to um, probably just have like a date and time like not not too much um, and then there's that little piece that says smile often. Now, one of the florals has that really like dark red and I don't want to bring that color in. Like I'm good with all of the soft muted, but not that one. So now that I kind of have that idea and my paper is pretty much dry, um, I am going to scoot all of that stuff over so I can start attaching it to the paper. Now, I do not use a big star. I actually use a doily for that big star element that you see in the back. Um, and that just kind of softens it versus like that star in the back is like bold and in your face. Like that is a main element where mine is not a main element. It's just it's just another layer and a little more texture. So I'm kind of sad this is my last pom-pom frame. I think I've bought them several times, um, but I just love them. 
So now I am going to like start redoing those clusters. Um, I kind of have an idea of where they need to be, so that's good. And I do kind of want to cover up the rough edges of the frame. And I want to give the florals a little bit of a dimension, so I'm just going to add some foam adhesive to a couple of them. And I'm going to put a couple of uh, leaves in as well. So I have florals and leaves. And this piece that I am putting on top is kind of like, it had like a, it was like florals in a vase, but I didn't really need that. So the vase is kind of hidden. So that's okay. So I am going to grab some of these uh, chipboard uh, flare, maybe? I guess you could call them. I grab three of them. I grab a dragonfly, one with a two that says you and me, and another one that says cozy. And I'm going to tuck those in. Um, this cozy one gives me a little bit of a trouble because that leaf really wanted to cover up the word and I wanted you to be able to read it. So at first I think that I'm going to use um, let's get cozy as my title, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to put a big title on the side um, and it's going to say lovely smile um, originally I thought I just wanted it in one long swoop like it is there um, but it's too long so I'm actually going to have to do it in two so it's going to say lovely and then it's going to say smile now I am NOT going to put my journaling under the title like it calls for which totally makes sense when it's um, turned I am going to find that uh, little tiny journaling block and get that back on there. Now, since I have this gold on, I feel like I need to bring it in in a couple of other areas. So I grab a floral and a leaf and get that in the two clusters and uh, that, that makes me happy. I think I do add um, a heart as well. There it is. Oh, two hearts. Look at that. So um, that is pretty much going to do it for me today. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Make sure you check out Christy and Moira's take. Um, there are always people playing along with us. So down um, in the description box, you'll find that. I have a couple of close-ups. Please use the hashtag if you're playing along. And if you're new, welcome. Hit that subscribe button and that like button. And remember to wear your crown because I'm going to see you tomorrow. Bye.